here at a wetland park near Dianchi Lake area. I've never okay. been to a wetland before, but they right. told me that the best wetlands are around are all around the Dianchi Lake area. Yes, that reminds me that when I was in junior high school, yeah. there's no any kind of wetlands here around Dianchi Lake. Uh -huh. But now we can see there are plenty of them. And actually the purpose for this wetlands are actually for water purification and the improvement of the regional weather and climate. So you can see the water is really it's crystal clear. clear here. So is this actually water from the Dianchi Lake? Yeah, that's true because it's embedded in the Dianchi Lake. So, oh, so that's after, part of it. Yeah, and after we go through this forest, we can see the whole image of the Dianchi Lake. And the I can't Shishan. wait to see that. Yeah. So this is Metasequoia Forest. Right. There's a nickname from locals called Living Fossil. Living Fossil, why is that? Yeah, it's really, really old? Yeah, it's like living in the age when the dinosaurs it's can so see the wetland here. here. Right, we have different plants and different birds. Oh, superior. the black hat seagulls, yes. right? They came here every year during every year. the winter. Yeah. Where did they come from? Ah, uh, Siberia. Wow. From Russia. Yeah, it's, it's such a long journey. I think it's even longer than our elephant <laughs> journey. But still, like, uh, Yunnan province, this city is full of miracles mm -hmm. and I think not just we people like this place but also animals yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, they it know was... so much from Russia, all the way from Russia. They know there's a lake called Dianchi Lake <laughs> and they will have a, you know, winter vacation here yeah, every year. Probably, yeah. They so... know what life is. <laughs> Yes. This is actually the living, the smallest dinosaur in the world. Yes. I am. We can see the is very It is a common species in the wetlands of Guangdu district. That's where we are. Uh -huh. So probably we are lucky enough today. We can see this, this, and this. Go so, find the frogs. So actually, these creatures are another examples to suggest that our environment is mm -hmm. getting better and better. Yeah. So the flowers here in Kunming never fade all year long, right? Yeah, several kind of flowers. I think I, they could be on for the whole year. You know, the city, the nickname is yeah. called the Spring City. Mm -hmm. The weather, the temperature is always cozy and comfortable. So. Yeah. There's a dam that cut the lake into two parts. Yeah. That is another part of the Inch Lake. And over there on the south part of it. So we are here at a larger part. Yeah, but okay. they are connected with each other. Okay. 